Captain Forest here. In today's video, I'm going to be going over both these combatants to see who would win, more often than not, in a crossverse situation. Captain America from the Marvel Cinematic Universe versus Soldier Boy from The Boys. If you guys are new to my channel, please leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for further content. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and break this matchup down. I'm gonna talk about Captain America. I'm gonna move on and talk about Soldier Boy. And then near the end of the video, I'm gonna give my thoughts on who I think wins more often than not in a crossverse situation. So Let's talk about MCU Captain America, see what he brings to the table. So in the Avengers movie, when Thor strikes Captain America's shield, he creates a shockwave that blew up everything within a mile. Thor apparently leveled a mountaintop with this devastating attack. This feat in question was calced around the city level ranges of attack power. Iron Man's suit was shown during this battle with Thor to withstand blows from the hammer. In Civil War, both Winter Soldier and Captain America 2v1 Iron Man, showcasing that both can physically harm the suit and Cap is shown to take digs from Iron Man. Captain America would easily downscale from Iron Man and the suit's durability. Captain America has also been shown to hold his own against the likes of Ultron as well. Now that's going to pretty much wrap up AP for Captain America. He should easily be city level. Now as for the shield's durability, it's shown to easily scale around the multi-continental to moon level ranges so it scales to pretty much like characters like Thanos and Thor because the shield can pretty much withstand attacks from both these combatants and it's been shown throughout the movie. Now moving on to speed, Captain America should easily have relativistic plus reactions. He's been shown to react to Thanos and this very same Thanos can react to Captain Marvel who has her own relativistic plus speed feat which was calc around the 70% the speed of light aka relativistic plus and Captain America should scale to this. Now moving on to other attributes, it's stated that Captain America is a master of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Action is a, is a big thing for us, we love action. Uh, but also, you know, I grew up collecting comic books and I like, uh, you know, I, was, I always thought of Cap as the master of hand-to-hand -hand combat and, and we really wanted to illustrate that. And, you know, we had to, we had to track that arc, as Anne said, from the, from, in the MCU, from the first film where, you know, he, he was an untrained uh, soldier. Now, now he's the best trained soldier in the world. Cap also knows all the best fighting techniques and is the best trained soldier in the world. You know, and one of the charming things about World War II is everybody was plucked off the street of Brooklyn and then six weeks later you're fighting in World War II. So you have a very, like, unrefined fighting style yeah. in, a lot, in many ways. And nowadays we're so highly trained, we're so re well researched, and it's like Cap's been absorbing all that for a couple years now. And the way his mind works, it's just like we wanted him to be the best soldier of today. And, uh, and know all the best fighting techniques, etc. And this is where we wanted to just like give the audience a nice little hello. Okay, folks, that's gonna wrap up Captain America. I'm gonna go ahead and move on and talk about Soldier Boy, see what he brings to the table. So Soldier Boy was able to go at it with Homelander. He's able to react and intercept Homelander's strikes and also physically damage him. Even Homelander admits that Soldier Boy had him going. We have a statement from Homelander where he talks to Starlight, stating that he would easily wipe New York off the map, and he'd throw in Queen Maeve's town too. If we take this statement to face value, then the potency to destroy New York would require around the low ends of 179 megatons to the higher ends of 52 gigatons, which would equate to mountain level or mountain level plus to large mountain level as a high end. So you can downscale Soldier Boy to those ranges of attack power. Now, I'm going to go ahead and move on to speed. So Soldier Boy is able to react to Homelander. This very same Homelander is fast enough to react to Butcher's heat vision by firing his own to create a beam struggle. For more supporting evidence, we see a direct feat from Soldier Boy where he's able to react to Butcher's heat vision at close range. This feat was calc around a 68% the speed of light, aka relativistic plus speeds. Soldier Boy himself can charge up and perform a radioactive blast, which not only can vaporize anything in the vicinity, but it also can power null the target who is hit by the radioactive blast or even in the vicinity. So that's pretty impressive. And lastly, as for Soldier Boy's choice of weaponry, he comes equipped with a shield, which is used for offensive and defensive means. So that's gonna wrap up both these combatants. I'm gonna go ahead and move on and give my thoughts on who I think wins more often than not in a crossfire situation. So when it comes to attack potency, easily, Captain America clocks around the city level ranges and then we have Soldier Boy clocking around mountain level, mountain level plus to the higher ends of large mountain level. So it's pretty clear cut on who takes AP. Gotta give that to Soldier Boy by a huge margin. So if Captain America's not careful, he could easily get one shot by any of Soldier Boy's attacks. Now looking at speed, they're both pretty relative. Both have relativistic plus speeds, but of course, Captain America is 2% faster, but it's not really that, you know, game changing. They're still relative, so they both would be able to block each other's attacks and react to each other respectfully. Now, 
looking at other aspects captain america does have his shield it's very durable i really don't see like anything like soldier boy can do against that shield i don't think he can break it or destroy it just the durability and the feats that it's demonstrated you know multi-continental to moon level just out of soldier boy's pay grade now when it comes down to skill yes easily captain america is vastly more skilled in comparison to soldier boy but i really don't think skill is going to be really much of a you know game changer especially with the ap disadvantage that captain america has he doesn't have ap favoring him in this fight so skill is pretty much useless in this setting now of course when we look at other aspects you have soldier boy with his ap and of course he does have his radioactive blast that could be an issue if cap's not careful cap does have the shield so he could use that to protect himself but of course he has to be careful with the widespread because if cap doesn't block it you know successfully or doesn't block it properly then that blast will atomize him but overall seeing how this fight would go down yes cap would throw some digs but soldier boy would pretty much tank all of them he'd pretty much overpower captain america with his sheer ap and strength he'd use his shield he'd be able to get captain america off balance just due to having higher ap and once the shield is pretty much a non-factor soldier boy is just going to pretty much beat the living hell out of captain america so overall, I got a victory to Soldier Boy. I'd say mid difficulty. I think Cap's going to make this very competitive just due to Cap being on the defense. Um, a lot of the times he's going to rely on the shield a lot. I'm going to try to use shield bashes, but I think that mainly just stagger Soldier Boy more than anything. Soldier Boy would be able to take those hits. He has his own shield as well. So he'd be able to pretty much block any of those attacks. And of course, with Soldier Boy just having the sheer AP, he would eventually get the upper hand just manhandle and just pretty much make an example out of captain america so more often than not i have to give victory to soldier boy around at least mid difficulty to some degree so yeah soldier boy takes this that's my thoughts if you guys are new to my channel remember please leave a like comment down below and of course subscribe for the content let me hear your thoughts down in the comment section as well give me your two cents on this fight who do you think wins more often than not in a crossfire situation but anyway it's been real i'll see you guys in the next one peace